this video we are going to discuss about BMS systems part 2, for complete working principle of chiller system. Chiller system. Centralized air conditioning system used for a large cooling capacity usually for commercial purpose. It consists of three main cycles. One refrigerant cycle. Two chilled water cycle. Three condenser water cycle. The component that are involved in refrigerant cycle are compressor, condenser, filter driver, expansion valve and evaporator. Chiller water system that are involved in air handling unit and water pump. Condenser water cycle the component that are needed to process our cooling tower and water pump. Refrigerant cycle. Refrigerant cycle consists four basic component which are compressor, condenser, expansion device, and evaporator and additional component called filter driver also include in the system. Compressor. Compressor works is increase the pressure of the refrigerant and addition it also increase the temperature of the refrigerant higher than temperature of condenser water so that the heat transfer in the condenser. The refrigerant tent ease compressor with low pressure gas and out with pressure gas condition type of compressor used is scrollmatic type. Scroll compressor works based on gas at low pressure on the temperature into the suction line and go into the compressor. The low pressure and the temperature gas is pressurized by the scroll compressor at high pressure and temperature gas the high pressure in the temperature gas s then through the discharge line and then go into condenser. Condenser the refrigerant in high pressure gas will be enter the condenser at the temperature higher than the temperature of condenser water in condenser. The heat will be eliminated through the condenser water from the cooling tower through the proceed of conversation and conduction. After the heat is removed the refrigerant in the high pressure gas conductance in the high pressure liquid went out from the condenser. Condenser is most commonly used shell and tube type water is flowing through the tube refrigerant liquid from fluted in the shell. Filter driver. Before the refrigerant float in the next main component it will be passes through an additional component called dryer. Dryer acts as a duct filter and observe if there is moisture in the refrigerant. This will shows that refrigerant is clean and dry before entering in the expansion valve. Expansion valve. Expansion valve service to reduce the pressure and control flow of refrigerant going into the evaporator. When the pressure of refrigerant is declined tactically the temperature air will drop dramatically which is lower than chiller water temperature. In a centralized system expansion device to the 15th thermal expansion value type is used. It work according to the temperature of the refrigerant which comes out from the evaporator. The sensing bulb placed on the flow of the evaporator works to detect temperature of the refrigerant and sense the signal to TXV. Needle valve in the TXV will control the flow of refrigerant based on the transmitted signal. Evaporator. The refrigerant in the low pressure liquid from coming out from in the expansion valve will flow into the evaporator at low temperature. In evaporator the heat from the chilled water which comes out from the air handling unit too will observed by the refrigerant due to the temperature different procure. When the liquid refrigerant which the low temperature and pressure observe heat from the chilled water the refrigerant will evaporator at low pressure gas. The evaporator most commonly is used shell and tube type where the refrigerant flow in the tubing the water flow to the shell. The evaporator slighted within the installation reduce heat transfer, the refrigerant in the low pressure gas will return the compressor and continuous to the next cycle. Chiller water cycle.
chilled water cycle consists of two basic components which are air handling unit and water pump. Air handling units Air handling unit is the place where clod air is produced before it can be distrusted. It consists of servile key components such as cooling coil, fan, fan motor, belting, filter and the casing. Chilled water produced in the evaporator flow into the air handling units through the pipeline which is marked with dark blue color. This chilled water is known as chilled water supply in an air handling units. Chilled water will pass through the cooling coil. In the cooling coil the hot air will goes through the cooling oil and switched cold air due to the heat transfer to the chilled water. Cooling coil are commonly used in system valve tube and fin. After observing the heat from the hot air the chilled water will be known as chilled water return. Normally chilled water is turned with color light blue. Chilled water return will return back to the chiller to transfer the heat observe the refrigerant in the evaporator. Water pump. This cycle will continue as long as the pump is functioning well. The pump used in the system is centrifugal type. The centrifugal pump works based on centrifugal force produced by the rotating impeller in the pump casing for air flow system it is operating using impeller. Auxiliary fan which to create the air cycle from the room and mixed with the fresh air from the outside through the air handling unit and return back to the room type of fan used is centrifugal fan and powered by a motor connected through the melting. The airflow through the channel is called ducting. There are two types of ducting are supply air duct and return air duct. The air ducts are coated with the insulating material consisting of fiber glass wrapping with aluminium foil. It reduces heat transfer from the environment to the air duct. Air return to the air handling unit will pass through the filter before passing through the cooling oil and return back to the room. This twin show that the air return into the room when clean condition. Condenser water cycle. Condenser water cycle is consist of two basic components which are cooling tower and water pump. Cooling tower. Cooling tower service to the cool on the temperature condenser of water that will be used to observe the heat in the refrigerant condenser. It consists of serval components which are motor, sprinkler blade, water fin, water reservoir, buoys, and makeup water tank. Heating from the condenser and chiller, condenser water flow to the cooling tower with the help of the centrifugal pumps. This chilled water is called condenser water return. This condenser water will pass through the rotating sprinkler blade on cooling towers. This rotating blade using pressure generator by the condenser water itself. Water will goes down through the fin and reduce the speed of water will going down. This can delay time and the heat can be observed more effectively by the sour and in air at passing through the fins. Air through the fins is fast by a rotating fan on the sprinkler blade rotate by the motor. This fan rotates with it cause supports this will close the air to move from the bottom to top of the cooling tower where if opposite to the flow of the condenser water. Condenser water which are eliminate the heat by the sour ending air will accumulate in the basin under the cooling tower. Condenser water that flowing out from cooling tower to the chiller is called condenser water supply. This condenser water will flow back to the chiller to continuous heat observing work from the refrigerant the B system at the water base nets connected to the makeup water tank. It works for adding water when the water level in the base is decreased at certain level due to evaporation. This condensing water cycle coil continuous along this centrifugal pump is good working condition.
We hope this explanation will helpful to you. Thank you for watching our videos.